Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos uh, regarding Java FX and uh, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, install the scene builder onto my computer and I'm going to um, prepare Eclipse for it so we can use it within Eclipse so we can, we'll do that so um, what we're going to do first of all, I just created in my Java programming where I've got all the other bits which I mentioned in my other videos. Uh, I just created another file where I'm going to put the installer for Scene Builder. So we're going to go and just open up this uh, uh, link here on our favorite browser in glueonhq.com and it's uh, product Scene Builder. And I'm going to download Scene Builder from there. Um, I'm going to go to the scene builder for Windows because I've got Windows so I'm going to use the Windows installer and I'm just going to click on that and let it do its thing and just wait for it to be installed so at least download it, not installed, sorry as I said this is only the uh, installer it is not the actual scene builder And there we go. So um, I'm just going to take, oh, let's put it back here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to take that. I'm just going to drag that into my scene builder folder. And I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to double click on that. There we go. So that is uh, uh, the start of the scene builder setup. And uh, if you already have scene builder installed on your computer, please. Uh, uh, do not install it again because you will run into problems. If you want to install it again, go to your Windows settings and uh, or your computer settings and uninstall the app before you reinstall it because you will find you will get an error message um, because there will be two programs installed on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Next and I'm going to agree to all the terms and conditions because I don't find them all that bad and uh, then it's going to give us a file path where it is going to install the exe and all the other bits for uh, scene builder and i'm going to copy this path because we're going to need it okay so i'm going to copy that path and uh, you can browse to it if you don't want to copy it and so when we're going to need it but i'm just going to copy it because it's easier <coughs> i'm going to click next and i'm just going to install the shebang there we go so that is all done and finished now okay so now I'm going to go to my Java programming and I'm going to open Eclipse because this is where most of the rest of the work is going to happen so I'm going to open my workspace and I'm just going to uh, wait for everything to catch up here. There we go. So we all caught up, all properly done. Nothing is happening here in this corner anymore. So just uh, for the example of this video, I'm going to create a new Java FX application. Now, if you don't know how to do this and you do not have Java FX on your computer, you can, or in Eclipse, you can go and uh, follow my video on Java FX and Eclipse. Uh, there I've got some very useful hints as to how to integrate Java FX and I show you, uh, you know, I have an example of how I do that. Um, and so the project name, I'm just going to call this Builder. And click Next. I'm not going to click Finish. I'm going to click Next because I want to get to a certain um, pl um, year. This is where I want it to be. And uh, I'm going to leave the application as a desktop desktop application because that is what I'm building. Uh, the package name I'll leave it application for now. And the language here I'm going to select FXML because it's going to if I, if we do that it's going to create uh, 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 um, the root type which is quite nice. Um, I'm just going to leave that as is for now. And the file name, which is the file name for the FXML, so it's sample.fxml. I'm just going to leave that as it is. You can name it whatever you want. But it is important that you know that the controller here is connected to the sample uh, 
fxml or whichever you call this document here so that the controller can actually control the aspects of that and it's very nice because uh, when we click finish it is going to create everything for us here you can see we've got the error message which is quite okay if you followed the previous video of the java fx and uh, uh, eclipse you will know what this is all about and i'm just going to sort that out so we stop having all those error messages so we're going to go to build path we're going to go to configure build path and we're going to go to libraries and on our module path we are going to say add external jars and then the jars which we downloaded in that very first video of Java FX and Eclipse I'm just going to open those and I'm going to click apply and apply and close and you'll see that all our errors have gone away so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the mains uh, dot Java because what I want to do is I want to put something into our scene just so it's not that blank and all I'm going to do I'm just going to say uh, primary stage dot set title and I'm going to put a string in there saying, let's put a capital letters, our stage. And of course, we need to close that inverted commas there. So there we go. So now if we test this, just to make sure that it is all working, we go down to run as Java application. There we go. If make sure everything's caught up there. Um, there we go. We've got our stage, nothing in it. I want to use scene builder to put uh, a few things in there. So that is basically our Java FX application. And then over here we've got the controller and we've got the sample FXML. Now if we want to use scene builder, we've got to right click on the sample.fxml and say open with scene builder. Now if this did not happen, then uh, you still got to set the path and I'll just explain that to you because all it is it's in Windows and you go to preferences and uh, if we go to Java FX here it is looking for a path so if I just delete that um, just to show you what I mean so if you freshly installed it and you say open with scene builder you will get this message saying opening the file with scene builder failed Try setting the absolute path in Scene Builder. So, uh, um, of, or to Scene Builder in your preferences, and basically that's just what I've uh, showed you here. Is in the preference menu, just go down to FX um, uh, Java FX. Sorry, I'm just going faster than I can. Uh, where is my Java FX? There we go. There's Java FX, and then where it says for the Scene Builder executable, because that is what it's looking for. You can browse and you can paste that link in. And we'll just take that last one off there, click enter. That should take us to um, where our uh, scene builder was installed, which is in C, users, the name of your computer, and then it'll be app data, local, and scene builder. So you just click on those files. And eventually you'll get here, and you just select scenebuilder.exe, and you open that up. And that is how you set that path. You click apply, <coughs> and I'm going to click apply and close to be fancy. Now, if we right click on our sample.fxml and say open with scene builder, you will find, or you should find, that it all loaded very well. That's it, really. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a border pane and I'm going to stick it in the center there. That's all nice and handy and dandy. So, and then I'm going to get a button. And I'm going to put that in the center pane of our border pane. And I'm just going to call that button something different, like our button. Then I'm going to click File. Let's wait for it to catch up. We go click File. And then I'm going to click Save. Just to make sure that it saves, the change is saved to the sample.fxml. Um, Otherwise, you will find that when you make changes here and you don't click save, you might get frustrated thinking, well, why did it not work? So there we go. We're going to open our sample.fxml. And you will see that our border pane and our buttons all been entered. And that's all fine. So I'm going to just right click on main and I'm going to say run as Java application. And there we go. We've got our stage with our button. So. Um, 
that's that really. What I just want to say is that we do have our um, sample controller here so that we can um, control our sample.fxml. So you can see that the application here, the FX controller is the application is sample controller. That's what it's called. So um, that's um, as much as I'm going to do in this video because all I wanted to do is to show you how I um, integrate uh, the scene builder in uh, Eclipse and install it on my computer. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like my videos, subscribe and uh, happy coding.